chapter 7, Mishnah 4. The final Mishnah of the chapter speaks about cases where the seller is selling part of his field and keeping the rest for, his, for himself. If someone says to his fellow, I am selling you half of the field, but does not identify the half of the field that he is selling, we divide the quality between them. That is, we divide the land into two parts that are of equal value, and the seller takes, i.e. keeps, the half of, the, of his field that is of higher, higher quality, while the, buyer get, while the buyer get the half of the field that is of poorer quality. Since the seller did not say which half of the field he was selling, he has the right to explain that he meant to sell a parcel worth half the value of the field, not half of the size of the field, and he may give the buyer any single piece of the field that is worth half the value of the total field, even if it is of poor quality. Even if the seller seemingly, seemingly spoke about a specific part of the field, he can still interpret his words as referring to the field's value. If the seller said, I am selling you half of the field in the south, the seller does not have to give the buyer the southern half of the field. Rather, in this, too, in this case too, we divide the land according to value, and the buyer takes, that is, he must be given, a section that is equal in value to the southern half of his field. We evaluate the worth of the actual southern half of the field, and the seller must give the buyer a piece of the field equal in value to that half, but he may give him land that is located on any side of the field, even if it is not on the southern side, and even if it is of poor quality. The seller can say that he meant to sell a parcel that is equal in value to the southern half of the field, and not the actual southern half of the field. When one buys part of a field, he is responsible to provide land from the portion that he buys for a fence between the two halves of the field as well as for certain other needs. And he, the buyer, accepts upon himself to provide land for the fence that must be built between the two halves of the field. The large trench that is dug outside, that is, on his side of the fence, and the small trench that is dug between the trench and the fence. The combination of the large trench and the small trench keep animals far away from the fence, so they cannot jump over it and enter the, sh the seller's half of the field. How much land is needed for the large trench? Six tefachim. And how much is needed for the small trench? Three tefachim. Another tefach is needed between the two trenches. So the total amount of land outside the fence that the buyer must provide is ten tefachim.